The Super Sports is an enhanced version of an already extremely potent vehicle, featuring an upgraded crankshaft, torque converter, and turbochargers for more power and improved power delivery. The Super Sports 6.0 liter W12 engine produces an even 700 horsepower and 750 pounds FT of torque that makes this the most powerful and fastest Bentley ever made. 60 miles per hour is dispatched in 3.4 seconds on the way to a maximum velocity of 209 mph. The largest carbon ceramic brakes of any production car come as standard equipment, as do carbon fiber hood vents, front splitter and rear air diffuser side trim, and a plain longboard of a rear wing. Handsome 21-inch lightweight forged wheels are also part of the package. Though, really, weight savings is almost irrelevant in this vehicle. The Super Sports weighs over 2.5 tons, or about as much as one of the tread belt shoes on the diesel electric crawler used to tug the 70 million pound space shuttle and its boosters out onto Canaveral's runway. We were tugged out onto the runway as well, though in a slightly different fashion. Like a solid booster rocket, which can be lit, but not extinguished. The Super Sports features a preternatural and uncanny capacity for thrust. We had the chance to experience this in a series of maneuvers on the concrete strip, including a high-speed slalom and accident avoidance course. These were also designed to show off the Super's trick, brake-based torque vectoring system, borrowed from the GT3 Razor, an intervention that is as eerie and seamless as the ones on reality TV or not. But the centerpiece of our adventure was a top-speed run. For this, we started at one end of the empty roadbed, and simply kept the throttle pinned until we ran out of, well, space. The Super Sports never lets up. Our co-pilot, a professional Bentley race driver, called out our speeds in 20 and then 10 mile per hour increments once we passed 100. By the time he said the safe word, about 2 miles in, indicating our need to ease off the gas, we had crested 190. The car had just shifted gears and would have kept tugging. The pros, who overran the boundary, made it to 198.